Last week I spoke about how how to do how to practice uh, on video and that you should do one thing, practice, take some time to practice and practice one thing and record yourself. Uh, and uh, this week I want to go about how to record yourself. Uh, I'm going to share my screen also. Now, this is assuming you have OBS set up already with a camera and, by the way, also a microphone. Now, for meetings, like this meeting, the micro, uh, microphone goes directly to the meeting software, then out to the Internet. Uh, you don't need the OBS. Uh, my, uh, you don't need the microphone in OBS. But for recording in OBS, uh, you need the microphone turned on and showing some levels right here. So this is assuming you're all set up with OBS. There's other videos out there on, on the internet for how to get cameras hooked up and all of that. A uh, few settings first, before you start recording yourself, you can find settings under file settings. It's always under file settings. It's also here on the controls panel settings. Since the control panel can be turned off and on or it can be moved, it might not always be right here. If it is, click on settings and open up the settings. Then output, and in case you uh, see this, this is advanced under output mode, advanced. It might be set to simple for you to start with. Go to advanced. And here's the two settings under recording. Go to the recording tab. Recording path, that is where the files are gonna be saved. When you record yourself in OBS, it will record, save the file somewhere on your computer. It will be at this location. You can also click browse, find a place to save it if you want to save it somewhere differently. Or just use the default or whatever's in here. That's where you'll find your file afterwards. The next thing to pay attention to is the recording format. MKV takes another step afterwards to process the file in order to use it and see it. For our purposes, change to MP4. Then the file is readable as soon as you record it. And for our short one minute practice videos, MP4 works. Click apply and okay. Now you're set up. When I click record, OBS will start recording everything in here as well as the sound that's coming through the microphone. And it's real easy then. Over here, start recording. OBS is now recording everything that's in the preview panel here blah, 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 do whatever practice you want to do, then stop recording. And then out here in the, uh, in this case, I call it OBS output folder, there's an MP4 file, which is the file I just recorded seconds ago. Uh, that's the quick of it. Uh, to do some practices, set up OBS software, get your camera and microphone hooked up, a few settings changes that I just explained, click start recording, uh, you're, you have a recording and you can practice and uh, review those practice files. That's the quick of it. Next week, I will be talking about these profiles because if you want to start recording higher resolution files that are, are to be used for uh, editing afterwards and things like that, real work files, if you would, uh, you might want to change some settings. So I'm going to go over profiles next week and how to use those to switch from meetings to uh, high-resolution uh, recording files. That's it.